toward the top of the hour so you have enough time to get your bets in. We have a, we'll give you a lot of picks from tonight's primetime action. We'll cover Monday Night Football. We got both games from college football as well as the college basketball card for today. And uh, reminder, we're here Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, let's take a look at the group for today. Uh, Damien Sash will sign in bottom of the hour. We got Rod Zawacki join us. Alex Smart will lead us off. Chris Ruffalo will serve as co-host. We got El Ninos in as well as Shane Mickle. So let's go ahead. To, uh, we'll get, get rolling here with the show. Chris, uh, you're ready to go. Absolutely. Let's get it. Let's get it going. All right. Let's go ahead and welcome to the show uh, Alex Smart. You'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium doing very good work. Alex, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Oh, doing great. All right. You're looking at this uh, college basketball game. Uh, this one you can watch on Pluto TV, that free app, 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's UC Riverside in Northern Arizona. Uh, Riverside here was laying five, five and a half, depending where you shop. Total sits here at 129 and a half. Yeah, Northern Arizona got blown out in their first game. Uh, really didn't have much of a game. And, uh, you know, against Arizona, I didn't really expect them to. But, you know, it looked they looked really bad. They they couldn't move. There wasn't a lot of flow there. And they're going to just bump into a UC Riverside team that's tough as nails. They play very physical, defensive type of basketball. You know, not a lot of stars in their lineup, but uh, they're a team. And that's, you know, this is a team sport. So <laughs> laying five points with UC Riverside uh, against this type of team is not a big deal. They've covered uh, their last five on the road, and they're going to make it six in a row tonight. Yeah, UC Riverside, one of the surprise teams of last year, uh, was a really good defensive team, shooting the, three, uh, shooting the ball a little better this year, Chris, and uh, got, they've got experience. How do you see it? Absolutely. I mean, it's also nice to see UC Riverside score more than 50, 60 points in a game. This is a this is a higher scoring UC Riverside team. And I got to agree with Alex here. Northern Arizona didn't look good the first time out. I don't think they're going to look good here. I'm, I'm on UC Riverside as well, laying the points. Yeah, Northern Arizona team that's been really in the basement the last four years. When you look at some of their numbers, this has been dreadful. All right, Alex, uh, as we get things started near the quarter of the hour here, what do you have going on over at uh, Pig Dogs Premium? Well, we skipped up on the college football tonight. Didn't like the way it looked, so uh, we hit more college basketball. Uh, we got the Christy Nighter NFL game. We're really loading up for a big weekend of uh, NFL and college football. And, uh, of course, looking forward to the NBA season, which we're just a few week, uh, weeks away from. So we've got lots That's of action coming up. Lots of action coming up, and tonight, uh, check out Alex Smart over at Pig Dogs Premium. You see the numbers here, over 900 units of profit. That's all documented at Pig Dogs Premium. Good time to pick up his 30-day all-sports pass. All of Alex's plays for 30 days. Have it covered the NFL, college football, college basketball. NBA will be in play as it's a little less than two weeks away. The 22nd, that's 12 days away from the start of the NBA season. Good time to pick up one of those 30-day all-sports pass from Alex Smart. He'll get you in the winner's circle. You see the numbers there year to date have been phenomenal. All right, Alex, as always, great having your show. Have yourself a great night, you. and we will talk with you uh, next week. Break a leg. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Anyway, guys, <laughs> have a good weekend. Good luck. Thanks, All right. Too. Everybody, Alex Martin here on the drive through We'll continue on here. We're joined with uh, Chris Ruffalo, and we'll keep it moving because we got a game that's going to start here in about 25 minutes, FAU and Southern Miss. So we moved Shane Mickle up for this spot. Uh, Shane, uh, how you doing today? Good. How are you guys doing? Oh, can't complain, can't complain. Sounding pretty good now. We got that microphone updated, so uh, you're coming in clear. And uh, you're going to be looking at this one beginning at uh, 6.30 Eastern time. FAU and Southern Miss CBS Sports Network will televise it uh, with uh, FAU laying about 9.5. Total sits here about 43.5 in this one. Yeah, FAU's got But honestly, they're dreadful offensively. Uh, they had trouble scoring against UMass. Only scored three points their last time out. Um, and they're facing a Southern Miss team who can score a little bit, um, but FAU's done a really good job of slowing them down. I'm not really comfortable laying that type of number here um, with FAU, but I do think it's going to be a low-scoring game that stays under a, a total, under the total, and this is on my premium card. So free premium pick for you guys tonight. All right, you got a premium pick here from a Shane Mickle here. It says take FAU and Southern Miss to go under a total of 43.5. I'm with you on that one. Chris, what say you? I finally figured out the reason why Shane didn't Shane and I didn't agree on a lot of stuff. I was mixing up stuff with the mic, but he's a lot more clear now, so we're good. But no, I just, you know, I think uh, I think uh, you know I, I agree with Shane on this one. I mean, you guys don't adjust your sets. We agree on a game. This is uh, this is going to be a low scoring game. Willie Taggart's you know turned this FAU team into a defensive power. I think FAU might be the best uh, defensive team in the uh, conference USA. So I'm with Shane on this one. I like uh, I like the under. 
Yeah, I like the under here. FAU playing a lot better. I got I tip it off to Mitch. We're kind of poo-pooing the coaching changer, but it's actually turned out pretty well for this program. Uh, of course, they lose their starting quarterback, Robeson, but they've been able just to play a defensive running running cell, and they've gone under a lot. And it looks makes sense here with this total. All right, Shane, uh, you've been performing well over at Pig Dogs Premium. What do you have going on tonight at the site? Yeah, I've got a five pack tonight. Um, it's got a college football play in the other on the other game, a couple of college basketball, and a play in the NFL. Um, so hop on that or hop on long term and get a uh, big weekend here of college football and uh, NFL. All right, guys, check out Shane Mickle over at Pig Dogs Premium. Uh, he'll get you in the winner circle here. Lots of action coming up here. We got the NBA a couple weeks away. A good football weekend coming up here. It's a, our last weekend of full card, then it's championship weekend. So why not get aboard with one of Shane's long term passes over at Pig Dogs Premium? All right, Shane, as always, great having you on the show. Have a great uh, weekend, and we'll talk with you the next week. Sounds good. Have a good weekend, you guys. All right, our buddy Shane Mickle here on the drive through We're continuing on here with our with, with uh, Chris Ruffalo. Well, you're up next, Chris. You're going to be looking at this North Dakota State, South Dakota State, uh, ID number 861-862. Not to be confused with North Dakota and South Dakota. That's not the game. It's the game at the bottom yeah. here that the state, that the state schools are getting together. So you could get a little confused. So that's why I'm giving you the rotational number 861-862. North Dakota State, South Dakota State here. With South Dakota State here laying some points. How do you see it? Absolutely. This this was a game that kind of you had to make sure that you had the right game because all of a sudden you, you place your bet and you're like, oh, wait a minute, what the hell did I just place my bet on? Why am I watching this when I got the better game going on later at night? But, you know, you got South Dakota State, North Dakota State, obviously. North Dakota State, you know, this is a North Dakota State team that's taken a step back at least early on in the season. Now you can attribute some of that to – you know, playing a tougher schedule. This is the North Dakota State team that just took Kansas down to the wire. You know, they just they they covered against Creighton as twenty three point underdogs. They were getting twenty five against Kansas, only lost by four. So that, that tells you, you know, this is this is the this is a pretty good North Dakota State team at least in terms of that game. But uh, you know, they also played Nebraska on the road. They had a game against uh, Nevada on a, on a neutral floor. You know, zero and four is a little bit understandable for North Dakota State at that point. But at the same time. You know, South Dakota State, this is a South Dakota State team that's one of, been one of the more profitable teams for us over the years. I don't want to say under the radar because I think people are starting to figure out how good North, or sorry, South Dakota State actually is. But I would put South Dakota State on the same level as your Nevadas and your Nebraskas of the world. And, you know, I am... Um, I, I like South Dakota State here. They got the win over Iowa State outright a uh, couple games ago. Came out and beat up on Bradley on the road as well. This is, and I think you know, it, this is a rivalry game. You know, with being so close geographically to each other and being you know, Dakota against Dakota, but you know, I still think that South Dakota State, the far better team here. You know, this is a, in a rivalry game. You might want to look at some points, but this, I think, I think the gap's just too big here. I like South Dakota State laying the eight and a half in this one. All right, uh, Chris Rowe says say, take South Dakota State, laying the 8.5 here against North Dakota State. Remember, as we made mention here, guys, this is the game at 9 p.m. Eastern time, rotation 861-862. Not the re These are the state schools playing. I know North Dakota is playing in South Dakota. Make sure you get down on the, the state's game here. North Dakota State, South Dakota State, this is the one we're talking about. All right, and lay the points here, says Chris Ruffalo. Over at, and you can find Chris over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Chris, uh, quarter after the hour, what you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Well, I still have a five-pack up there for uh, for tonight's games. Got uh, two of the college football, two college basketball, and, um, and then the NFL game up there. But again, you know, guys, I I, I, I remembered it today. So, you know, so we uh, <laughs> opened today's door. Let's see what we've got. I almost opened the wrong door. It's like, tells you how scatterbrained I've been with all this, everything going on. Okay, so for everyone here, there's going to be a $25 drive-through special. So what we're going to do is, at, up until the uh, up until the top of the hour, we're going to have a special package for everyone who's just watching the drive-through. It's going to be 25 bucks. I love all my premium plays, but I'm going to put a package out there for 25 bucks with just three, my top three, my favorite three premium plays of the night. 25 bucks over a Pick Dogs Premium. Or you guys, like we say all the time, get one of those three-day, seven-day, 30-day passes for all the sports. Three days going to get you all the way up into NFL. You guys know how much I have, uh, how much I have going on usually on the weekends. We have some of those, the bigger packages, some loaded packages, tons of winners going on for you guys over there. You're going to get Friday. We're going to have a nice college basketball card tomorrow. Saturday's going to be loaded with college hoops and college football. 
Sunday, more college hoops and some NFL. Guys, this is going to be a really good weekend, so don't miss out on any of these. Get yourself a package and put some cash in your pocket with the holidays just around the corner. Absolutely. Take advantage of that offer right now from Chris over at Pig Dog Supreme, or you can get that one of those long-term passes, seven-day, 30-day up there. You want to check them out for the weekend. Get that three-day pass. Get all of Chris's plays. That would be NFL, college football, and college basketball right now at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, we'll continue on here with the show. I'm joined here by Chris Ruflo, and I just want to remind you guys, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Free picks every day, the Drive to Show. Uh, we're, we're here Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Mitch and company get to started with, with the morning show at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And of course, he always has his halftime show. And don't forget, tonight, uh, Thursday Night Football, Patriots and Rams at halftime. Tune in and check out Mitch with his halftime picks. And of course, so we always want you to give us that thumbs up, uh, that, uh, we, that like button. We greatly appreciate that. Right, Chris? You can bang that keyboard. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get attached to this one. This one's actually survived a lot longer than the other uh, than the other keyboards I've had in my life. But uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it too much of a chance, too much longer, because I, I haven't smashed anything lately. So, smash that like button. It, it helps, you know, it helps us a ton. Helps pay for these new keyboards, you know. Just, just throw them around like there's nothing around here. <laughs> That's right. All right. So that, th that thumbs up like we greatly appreciate it. So smash that, th that like button. All right. Continue on here on the drive through. Next up is Rod Zawacki. You'll find him at Pig Dog Stream and you'll listen to him on the morning show at 10 a.m. Eastern time to get things started with Mitch and company. Rod, how you doing? Doing good. Doing good, Tony. Uh, All right. Getting cold here again. It, it's it's mm. cooling off here, but you're going to heat up for us here in college football because you're going to be looking at this one top of the hour here between Pittsburgh and Georgia Tech. Uh, Pitt laying up a, up to a touchdown. Total sits at 55. Yeah, we're looking at this one here. We're looking at the total. Um, total's been it, it, it's it's moved up a few points from where it opened up, uh, but with good reason. You you look at this uh, Georgia Tech defense and uh, they're averaging they're giving up 37 points a game. Um, Pittsburgh offense uh, they put up 40 a few few times this year already, and then you look at the Georgia Georgia Tech offense as well. This Pittsburgh defense giving up 25 points a game. I, I don't see how this game does not go over the number. Uh, Pittsburgh's last seven games all have went over. Uh, Georgia Tech, the last uh, nine games off an ATS loss have went over. Uh, on the year, both these teams are 14 and five to the over. Um, I look at this number. They keep moving it up. They're begging you to take the under. Uh, I keep moving it up. Take the over. Uh, I think we hit 60 something in this game. All right, Rod. So I says take over the total here. Of course, Georgia takes defense, not the greatest. And of course, uh, Chris Pittsburgh, a different quarterback with Pickett in there. And of course, uh, against these, um, you know, mediocre defenses, Pittsburgh's been showing, been able to get some points up there. Absolutely. I mean, you look at what Pittsburgh's done. They put up 40 plus against, you know, your your Virginia Techs of the world and your uh, your uh, Florida States as well. I mean, am I going to put Georgia Tech's defense above either of those teams? Uh, I'm I no, not a chance. I mean, even though you know Virginia Tech's in a down year, uh, this is a bad Virginia Tech defense. But I think that the Yellow Jackets will score too. So I like the over as well. I I'm with Rod on this one. All right, I'll agree with Rod Zawacki here on the over uh, between um, uh, Pittsburgh and Georgia Tech, which will top, we'll start top of the hour. All right, uh, uh, Rod, uh, past quarter of the hour now. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Uh, I still got a three-pack available for tonight. Uh, I got a Thumpin' Thursday three-pack. I got the NFL game for you. I got a college football game for you and one basketball game. Or grab a three-day pass. Uh, that, that'll get you today's plays, Friday's plays. Uh, it'll get you Saturdays. Saturday, I've been on fire, thirteen and three. Uh, the last two two Saturdays, uh, we're heating up. Grab something long term. All right, guys, get one of those long term passes. That's the best value right now at Pig Dogs Premium is a long term pass. If you get that thirty day pass, you'll get all of Rod's plays for thirty days. That's NFL, college basketball, college football. The Bulls games will be in uh, in in play here as well as the NBA, which starts in about twelve days. So a good time to get on board with one of those, one of those long term passes from Rod Zawacki over at Pick Dogs Premium. All right, Rod, it's always great having you on the show. And, of course, you can follow Rod over at the, uh, at the um, Pick Dogs as well as the Sports Chat Place uh, Facebook group as you're, t as you're uh, help moderating that contest. Oh, yeah, that contest is uh, heating up. There's definitely quite a few people that are in there, and uh, it's still wide open, anybody's game. Um, 
Just, just, just. I, I put a notice up there today. Uh, just watch when you put in your picks. Make sure that you put the odds for your money line pick. Because if you don't put your odds for the money line pick, I'm not going to know what it is, and I, I'm going to grade it as a, as a plus 100. So you want those money line dog prices? You, you better put the odds in there because it, it, you're just making more work for me, uh, 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 and it already is a lot of work. I don't yeah. mind doing it. I'm enjoying. It. I appreciate everybody. I love doing it. Help make my life a little bit easier, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> one, of the, one of the things to be in good standing as a handicapper is to follow the rules. You know, follow those directions, follow the rules, read thoroughly the instructions. Of course, that's something you've got to do if you're going to be in business. And that's uh, what we're looking for, what, what is expected of every handicapper here at Pig Dogs. <laughs> All right, uh, Rod Zawak, it's always great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night, and we'll talk with you uh, next week. Or tomorrow, mm -hmm. actually, yes. Tomorrow. I'll see you yeah. guys tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Our afternoon here, continue here with Rod Zawacki. I guess you got a little grin out of that one, huh? <laughs> a little bit, because you know, I just think to myself, I'm like, you know what? The reason we have that three strikes rule is because you know, you, you miss three days, you bounce from the contest, and I think to myself, if I miss, if I miss three days worth of premium, like uploading premium picks for for anything, oh boy, I wouldn't have a head on my shoulders after that point. But you know what? You guys get off easy. If you miss three days, you miss three days. That you're only bounced from the contest. You at least get to, you know, watch the watch the morning show the next day. You you get to go on about daily life. Me, I'll be lucky. Yeah, <laughs> at that point, I'm. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'll be the next day. I'll, I'll get my head smacked around a little bit. Oh yeah, you will. You will deserve <laughs> it too, right? If you got to get, you got to do. You take care of your business. All right. Continue here on the drive through here. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in our buddy Al Nino to the show. Al, how you doing, my man? I'm pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. You know, you know the feeling of hot water before, don't you? You know what that feels like, right? <laughs> All right, Al, we'll continue, all right, we'll continue on here on the show. Al, we're going to be looking at this uh, contest between Portland and Oregon State here with Oregon State, uh, the favorite here, about 15 and a half, 16 in some places, total 141. Yeah, Oregon State uh, just 2 and 2 so far, while well, Portland's 3 and 1, but uh, Portland didn't beat anyone good, and they even lost to a pretty bad Seattle team in their season opener. Uh, Oregon State's the, the much better team, and uh, obviously this big spread, I think, has got a lot of people taking the points uh, with the team with the better record. Uh, but uh, the big money is coming in on Oregon State here, which pushed that line up, as you said, from a minus 13. And, um, well, we definitely missed that number, but this is definitely looking more like a 20-point game to me, so... I'll be laying the points with Oregon State here. All right, uh, Alino says to go ahead and take Oregon State laying the 15 and a half against uh, the Portland. All right, Chris, what do you say here on this uh, Oregon State team? You know, we joked about it on the morning show, but how we how we <laughs> don't know how this the Portland coach still has a job, and it's it's probably going to be losses like this on the surface that maybe the reason he might get canned sooner than later. I'm with Al on this one. I think this is going to be a beat down from Oregon State. Oregon State hasn't been as good as, you know, roster-wise from years past, but this is still a much better team than whatever Portland's putting on the court. I like Oregon State as well. All right, agreement here with Oregon State. The Beavers are laying the points against Portland, the Pilots. All right, Al, approaching the bottom of the hour, what do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? we got football on the menu and more. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I have a six pa uh, seven pack, sorry, taking off soon, uh, kicking off soon, I should say. And uh, we'll have some individual plays up after that as well if you miss that pack. All right, guys. Check it out. Need us over at uh, Pig Dogs Premium. You can see it if you just – you don't have to watch these games. If you bet soccer, just play them because these have over 560 units of profit. We're not going to talk about soccer, but like I said, if you, if, you, if you see the play, bet it and you'll make money with Al over at Pig Dogs Premium. Why not pick up one of those long-term passes, seven-day or 30-day, and get on board with Al Nino's over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Al, as always, great having your show. Have a great night, great weekend, and we'll talk with you next week. All right, yeah, real quick, those uh, soccer games, the Champions League is a competition to watch. Uh, even if you're not a big fan of soccer, I might get you into it. And uh, it's the playoffs coming up, so there'll be some good games coming up. And, yeah, uh, have a good weekend. Enjoy your football during the weekend before the Champions League kicks off again. But, uh, yeah, always lots of good sports to pick from. And, of course... In honor of the NBA preseason starting tomorrow, I had to remind everyone real quick <laughs> we had what to happened last year. Yeah, so uh, go Lakers and hope for another good season. 
All right, up for another good season. Al, rub it into all those uh, Miami Heat and everyone, all those Laker haters out there. You're gonna hear a lot from Al Nino's here. We know, we know, a couple weeks away, we'll be hearing Lakers, Laker, every single Lakers are playing. Who do you like? Oh, let's take the Lakers. But we'll see how that. Oh yeah, be. oh yeah, we'll have to be careful with those big spreads, though. But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, it will be. And we'll see if LeBron is in the lineup. All right, Al, have yourself a good night. We'll talk <laughs> with you next week. All right, have a good one, guys. See you then. All right, Al Nino's here on the drive through That's right. I would just remember Al and his Lakers, huh? Oh, boy. And the Dodgers will be following that next year, but we still, we're still four months away from that. All right, let's continue on here. <laughs> I, 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 I got a headache. <laughs> I got a headache. All right, let's bring in Damien Sasha. We'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. Damien, how you doing today? Uh, doing great, guys. College basketball is really <laughs> going well for me, and I'm looking to keep that going. Oh, yeah, you look at Damien over at Pig Dogs Premium, man. You're the top of the leaderboards in college basketball is just tearing up, and you're going to be looking at college basketball for tonight. Kansas City and Minnesota, the Golden Gophers hosting. Your big favorites, about 17, total about 141. Yeah, on uh, this game, you know, Minnesota, they're an excellent offensive team, averaging 83 points per game, shooting 44% from the field. Uh, now, the team they're playing, Kansas City, uh, they average just 62 points per game against Division One competition. Uh, but it's a team that will run and put up the points uh, as well. In their first two games of the season against non-Division One competition, uh, this Kansas City team put up 105 and 138 points. Uh, when you factor in all their games, they're shooting um, 60 – I'm sorry – yeah, 62% from the field and 37% from three. Uh, and I don't care what the competition is, that, that's pretty impressive. So they'll definitely be able to knock down some shots. Um, now, I expect Minnesota to control the tempo of this basketball game. Uh, they're a team that likes to run, get up and down the floor. As I mentioned, they can definitely shoot the ball in Minnesota as well. Uh, four of the first five games for the Minnesota Golden Gophers have gone over the total. And I like this game to go over the total as well. All right, David Sox to take Kansas City and Minnesota. The Golden Gophers to go over a total of 140. All right, uh, Chris, what say you in this matchup? Well, I've got to agree because, I mean, you look, you look at what Minnesota's done, put up 75 in each of their – three of their first four games. And if they continue those numbers, all we'll need is about 60, 65 from Kansas City. You know, I'm not a fan of a team that loses to Kansas State of all teams, but you know what? I, I've got to agree here. I think 140 is a doable number. Yeah, between Kansas City and uh, Minnesota. I think this one could get closer to 150, but over 140, I think, is a gift, so I would take the over in this spot. Agreement on the over. All right, Damien, uh, bot pros and bottom of the hour, what you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? We're seeing your numbers here from college basketball, over 1,200 units of profit. Yeah, uh, going off here at 7 o'clock, I still have my winner circle pass. Um, that's going to include – uh, college football game tonight, NFL game tonight, and my college basketball game tonight. Obviously, looking forward uh, to the big weekend as well. I'm definitely going to have a lot of plays up. So if you don't have yourself a package, uh, definitely uh, check into one. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Get one of those long-term pass. That's the best value over at Pick Dogs is one of those long-term passes. You can see the numbers from Damien. He's fantastic work. Why not pick up that seven-day or third-day pass? You'll get all of Damien's plays from all the sports city handicaps. That would be college basketball. College football, NFL, and of course, NBA will be in play here in just 12 days. So get on board right now with Damien Sash over at Pick Dogs Premium. All right, Damien, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night, a great weekend. Continue that winning success, and we will talk with you next week. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right, everybody, Damien Sash here on the drive through Man, you take a look at those numbers, man, and he's just killing it, uh, uh, Chris, as, as is all the Pick Dogs over, over at the site. Well, it's, you know, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but every time Damien's on, I always want to say, it's no wonder that I can't catch Damien in the, in the leaderboards for college hoops is because he always puts out quality plays like the one he gave out tonight. It's, you know, it, it's impossible. You know, when someone's, when someone is that locked in and, you know, p putting out all those great plays like he continues to do, it's hard to catch. And, you know, going back to what we were talking about, when we always mention, guys, you know, get one of those longer-term packages. Just imagine how easy that is. You don't even. You just have to pay once. All you have to do is sign in the next day. You just get your picks. You go to the window. You, you, you place your bets. You don't have to worry about paying every single day, pulling out your card, entering your information. Is you just sign in, find the cap you like, get the picks, go off, place your bets, wait a couple hours, and go cash your winners. It's that simple. It is, guys, over at Pig Dogs Premium. Right, guys, reminder, guys, uh, we will review all the picks at the end of the show, and we'll also update the uh, leaderboards from the Pig Dogs Handicapping Contest. That will be at the end of the show. We'll continue on. Now it's time for yours truly to stand up here for the pick. We're going to be looking at this Rams and Patriots game. I'm going to take the points for the Patriots. as plus four and a half. New England has won four of their past five. They did pound the Chargers last week. 
Patriots are not facing any trouble here. They, they're working out at UCLA, but the Rams return home after a win in Arizona. Both teams are on a short week, but the Rams, we've talked about this Rams team. We've seen a lot of flat offensive performances in really bad spots, like short weeks, back-to-back -back road trips. Remember, the, the Niners had beat them twice. They lost at Miami after flying back, uh, back east. Uh, we saw them after uh, returning home from an East Coast trip, scoring 17 points on the Giants. So I think this is one, again, this is another spot where I can say we're probably looking at a flat offensive performance. I'm going to take uh, plus four and a half here with New England. Uh, what say you, uh, Chris, in this one? Well, Tony, how many times have we said, you know, with teams like the Rams and like when the Rams were making three cross-country road trips in, in a span of three weeks, how much of an effect it has on the team? And I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. You know, New England hasn't been the same New England team we've seen in the past, but I think the lack of lack of travel and, you know, being able to play in the same stadium in back-to-back -back weeks is going to serve them well here. I think this is a three-point game whatever way you slice it. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll be with you. I'll take New England at the points in this one. All right, agreement here with the Patriots uh, plus the four and a half against the Rams. Guys, you can check out Pick Dogs Premiums. I have long-term passes up there available as well as a three-pack today. Uh, we've got uh, football and college basketball on a three-pack for you. All right, continue here on the drive through guys. And a reminder, we're here Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We're back tomorrow with the, with the big show with a lot of guests for you. All right, let's continue on. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and review the picks from today's show. All right, we got uh, El Nino's here. Uh, with us so we started off with alex smart he said take uc riverside lay the five against northern arizona shane was on fau and southern miss under 43 and a half chris ruffalo south dakota state minus eight and a half against north dakota state rod zawacki pittsburgh and georgia tech to go over total of 55. alaninos oregon state minus 15 and a half against portland college basketball pick from damien sosh killing college basketball you can see him at pig dogs premium over 1200 units of profit Take Kansas City and Minnesota over total of 140. That's college basketball. Yours truly on the Patriots, plus four and a half against the Rams. All right, we'll start with Chris. Other than your pick, which one do you like the best? Yeah, and guys, just, just to reiterate one more time, Tony made a very good point. Make sure you get the right South Dakota, North Dakota game. Make sure you get the states in there. The rotation number, I think it was 861, 862, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But... Um, yeah, as far as my favorite play, I'm going to go with Shane on this one. I like uh, I like the FAU Southern Miss under 43 and a half. I think we'll be lucky to hit 35 points in that game. All right, let's get turn it over to Al. Al, other than your pick, which one do you like the best? I'll go with the other Al on the show. I'll go with Alex's pick, Riverside minus five. Yep, I'm going to tell with you there with Alex Smart. We'll take UC Riverside laying the five against Northern Arizona. All right, have yourself a great weekend. Now it's time to go ahead and look at the uh, – the contest here on the Pig Dogs on the Pig Dogs Capper contest. So let's get it started here. Uh, we're going to take here at the top. It's Joseph Peru, nearly 1,400 units of profit. Jody Edmonds second and 10:30, and Tiger Smith here at 8:30. Chris. Yeah, and guys, keep in mind uh, we we I don't know if we touched on this. This is through uh, December 8th. We still have to go through December 9th, the so last night's picks, and then we're going to have uh, December 10th up, hopefully tomorrow or maybe even tomorrow evening but this right what you're seeing right now is through december 8th but absolutely you know as we were grading the picks today i kept saying to myself wow joseph pro absolutely killing it jody edmonds hot on his trail but again guys you know we're only 10 days into this contest we're only a third of the way so plenty of time to make up some ground plenty of time to uh to, to catch up so this is this is a nice little sample size of where you can see where you can be at but again guys we're nowhere close to being finished no, no, by the way, we're close to about a third of the way. Here's 11 through 25, Blake Leggetti at, at 400 units. Still a lot of time for him to make up 900 units, Chris. Yeah, and we, we keep saying it, you know, two 0 and 3 days at the top and two 3 and 0 days around 24, 25. You guys can flip positions and all of a sudden it's a whole new race. It's a whole new top 25 in a matter of two, three days. So guys, don't, don't give up just because you had a couple bad days. Just keep... Keep your uh, your noses to the grindstone and just keep going through and, and, you know, ride it out because you never know. You might catch a couple breaks and all of a sudden you're you're, you're riding on the top like uh, Joseph Perot is right now on Pick Dogs. Yeah, absolutely. And I will make a note here, guys. If you're not in the contest just and you're new, you're new to the show, you can go to Pick Dogs over on Facebook. There's a Facebook group called Pick Dogs as well as Sports Chat Place as well. There's two of them, two contests going on. We're showing you the Pick Dogs, but it's important. If you're not in the contest, you want to you want to follow these 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 top these leaders. And Chris, all the picks are transparent. 
they got to post the picks in the Facebook group and everyone, it's a private group. Once you're approved, you'll be able to see all the picks every day, right? Absolutely. It's in our announcements tab over at the top of the page. We do have a, uh, uh, a section for each day of the of the contest so you can see you can see today's picks you can see yesterday's picks you can go all the way back to december 1st to see how these people got to the spot that they're in but if you're if you are in the contest like rod said earlier make sure you're putting your money line odds in because if you don't you know we're grading everything we don't see as you know plus minus 100 because you know as without knowing we're just going to assume it's a coin flip game, and that's all you want credit for. You want credit for those minor, plus 150s, plus 200s. We've had a plus 380 that's been cashed in within the first couple of days of the contest. Guys, got to give us those numbers so we can give you credit for them. But absolutely, this is, a, you know, it's, uh, like we said, it's it's still plenty of time, plenty of time to make up the ground if you're if you're in that bottom half. And if you're, if you're near the top, well, you, got, you still got 20 days to keep everybody off of your trail. Yes, you do. Still a lot of time, guys. So get those picks in every day. Make a make a make. You know, I would I would do is I would set an alarm on my iPhone or whatever phone you have. Set an alarm so it reminds you to put your picks in. That's the best way to get it done. Chris, would you have any other any advice for these for these guys to get make sure their picks are in? Well, you you just hit the nail right on the head. Have a, have a time every single day, whether it's you know thirty minutes before the deadline. Try and maybe give yourself a little bit of time, but. You know, make sure that you don't miss the deadline because even if you if you miss the deadline, and that's that's minus one ten for the day. That's that's it's, you know you're not going to make any profit there. And like I said, it's all someone needs to have is a two and zero day, three and zero day, and they're they're going to make up a ton of ground on you. And but yeah, Tony, you hit the nail on the head. Set yourself a reminder. Don't miss out on picks. We all forget to do things on a daily basis, you know. And it's, sometimes it's important things, but you know, just can't let everything slip. You just got to sort of keep track on it. Because you know what, you know, and Tony, we, we talked about this off the air, is that, you know, we're trying to get you in good habits in case you win this contest. You know, you want to have your picks in on time every single day. You know, it's 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 part of the job. And, you know, this is, for lack of a better, you know, explanation, this is sort of a, you know, a, a job application. I mean, we're trying to see, you know, what you guys got, what, what, you're, uh, what you're bringing to the table. We want someone that's reliable as well. So set a reminder for yourself. And, uh, you know, try to get them at the same time every day, sort of get into that rhythm. And then, you know, it sort of becomes second nature at that point. Yeah, reliable, have a good working attitude. Uh, those, those are the positive, uh, uh, you know, what, what they're looking for, people look for in, in business. So uh, show that show that skill off uh, to everyone here on, uh, as, uh, as you represent, rep yourself, represent yourself professionally during the contest. All right, guys, uh, a great uh, show for you today. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Don't forget... Halftime of the Rams Patriots. Have your phones, have your laptops ready because Mitch will have your halftime pick. Set those notifications for his halftime show for Rams and Patriots tonight. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the pick dog truth for tonight. Wave yourself a good, have a good night. And uh, we will <laughs> get Rod Zohacki there. Uh, we'll have a good night and we'll talk with you guys tomorrow.